Laria Baldwin, Threat Control Video Analysis. Hello, I'm H.G. Tudor, continuing to educate you about all matters narcissism using an array of materials. Laria Baldwin finds herself in the spotlight, which of course she likes, once again as a consequence of her association with her husband, Alec, who has been charged in relation to manslaughter following the death of the cinematographer on the set of Rust. We have a short piece of footage that was obtained as a consequence of her appearance outside uh, their residence where she talks to the assembled press pack and it provides us with a useful opportunity to understand more about behaviours vis-a-vis the world of narcissism. Let's have a look at the footage and then I'm going to take you through what we see. Here it comes. Hilary, are these charges I'm, fair? No, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to say. You're not going to ask me questions. I'm going to tell you. Got it. Okay? I want you guys to realize that we have seven kids. And you being here to escort them to school and to be there when they come home is not good. So on a human level, you guys know I'm not going to say anything to you. You know that. So please leave my family in peace and let this all play out. Okay, so let my kids come home and you stay away from them because they ask me, Mommy, what like, what are these people doing? And it's a very hard thing as a mom to try to explain. So please go home because I'm not going to say anything and Alec is not going to say anything. Your lawyers have said something about the charges. What do you say about the charges? Okay, there is the brief footage of Hilaria or Hilary Baldwin talking outside her residence. Dressed in green, oversized shades on to demonstrate that she is hugely important and child strapped to front and surrounded by various individuals from the media. Now, what do we understand from this behaviour? Well, first of all, leaving aside what she is, we have here a mother who's saying, leave us alone, It's upsetting my children. They're confused about what's going on, so leave us alone. We're not going to talk to you, so you might as well all piss off. Now, on the face of it, you might think to yourself, well, that's fair enough, actually. You know, she's being a mother, cares about her children. She doesn't want this spectacle taking place on the doorstep. And this is where people invariably get fooled. If you aren't aware of my analysis of Hilaria Baldwin already and you want to have it before I continue, pause this video, go and watch that series and come back. If you have and you're fully aware of what your understanding she is, then please do continue. Many people become confused because they would think to themselves, well, actually, that's fair enough. I wouldn't like it if the paparazzi, the media, the press were camped outside my house when my kids are there outside my apartment when my children are there and asking questions, haranguing. So she's well within her rights to say, clear off. What you have to understand, though, is that whilst she can say that, and so somebody else can say this, the drivers behind the behaviour are completely different. So what she's engaging in is something that many people might actually do. She doesn't lose her temper. She doesn't go for the Alec Baldwin trying to punch anybody or an explosion of heated fury. No, we don't see that because she's a different type of narcissist to that of her husband. But nevertheless, it's important for people to realise that just because she is perhaps a little more pleasant about it or less hot-headed doesn't mean that she's any less of a narcissist because of it. In fact, just because she's doing something that many people might think, well, actually, she's well within her rights to do this, doesn't mean that she's not a narcissist. It just means that a narcissist and a non-narcissist can both behave in a similar way. But you have to understand that there are different drivers behind it. So for her, her driver is, of course, her narcissism, which causes her to assert control, nullify threats to control and draw fuel. A non-narcissist would be doing this, not for control, not for fuel, but because there would be genuine emotional empathy towards the children and they don't want them upset or harmed by the media circus. 
Hilaria Baldwin, being an unaware narcissist, believes she's similarly protecting them. Her narcissism causes her to believe that the appropriate thing to do is to protect her children, and she believes that she cares about them. And that's why she says what she says. But the real reason behind it is it's her narcissism driving her to think in that way and to feel in that way for the purposes of nullifying a threat to control that is posed by the media being on the doorstep. Their presence and their intrusive questions is a threat to control. And consequently, she starts off in quite a haughty manner when somebody asks, are these charges fair? That is challenge fuel. It's directed at her, so it's fuel from a tertiary source, assuming she doesn't know the reporter that poses the question. However, it's a threat to control because it's asking her about something which involves her husband. He is an extension of her, remember, and the suggestion that he's been a naughty boy and done something quite terrible, and he's going to have to account for it. She responds to nullify that threat to control by stating, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to say. You're not going to ask me questions. Immediately shutting people down, refusing them the right of reply, how many times have you seen this behaviour with a narcissist? I'm telling you how it is and you're not allowed to question me. I'm allowed to preach at you, but you're not allowed to question me. I'm allowed to tell you how it is, but you're not allowed to ask questions of me. She's prescriptive. She's haughty. She's asserting control. I want you guys to realise that we have seven kids. No, we never fucking knew it, Hilaria. You never stop banging on about it. Triangulation with the children. And you to be here to escort them to school and be here when they come back is not good. Pity play. Attempting to evoke sympathy for the situation of having children in the situation. So on a human level, you guys know, I'm not going to say anything to you. You know that. So please leave my family in peace and let all of this play out. Okay. This again is an assertion of control. It's done in a way which seems like she's being fair and decent and reasonable and it manages a facade to an extent. She essentially is saying to them, look, you're not going to get anything out of me. You may as well go home. She then explains about how the children quiz about why these people are here, and it's difficult to explain it. Well, one wonders if that's actually the case, because I'm fairly sure that those members of the Baldwin household are fairly used to press surrounding them their father is a famous actor, their mother is, well, what is she, an influencer, I suppose, and a former yoga instructor, or still is, I can't remember, but certainly she's a certainly famous at uh, pumping out children. She's pretty uh, adept at doing that, being on number seven. And I think the children will have some experience of being filmed, being photographed, the press being around. And indeed, I'm pretty certain because they've got access to the internet, they'll have seen their, va their father's various bust-ups recorded in TMZ, etc. So to suggest that the children are asking and are uncertain by it all, to me, smacks of not being actually accurate. And therefore, it may well be the case that there's a telling of a lie here. And what she's doing is triangulating the press pack with the children for the purposes of a pity play to expect them to then just leave her alone. Of course, this is being done in the moment to basically say, go away, I'm the one that's in control here. Even if it is correct that children have been asking that, it would seem to my mind that it would be quite simple to explain to them what's truly going on and they should be able to grasp it. But there we are. And of course, as soon as she says all of this, unsurprisingly one member of the media then asks a question and her response to that is to assert control by withdrawal she said her piece she's been on her soapbox she's issued the statements to nullify the threat to control she received the fuel by way of response and then her narcissism tells her walk away assert control by exiting the situation just leaving a lady in the background to film so solitarily on her phone a useful example of Hilaria Baldwin's narcissism in action, showing you various facets of the manipulation and also reinforcing the fact that just because she comes across as fairly reasonable doesn't mean that she's any less of a narcissist. Indeed, she'll be drinking up the spotlight. She'll have relished the fact that the paps are there because it gives her an opportunity to appear in front of them and say her piece. It'd be quite simple for her to just to walk past. Nobody was blocking her path. She could just walk past and go about her day, but she has to stop and say something because her narcissism compels her to do so in order to assert control and draw fuel. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening.